I am Screwtape, the humble writer of these letters, formerly known as the Screwtape Letters. My fellow demon, Wormwood, is on his first patient in the attempt of leading him to our father's house. You, my friend, are one of the few humans who I allow to listen and watch from my perspective as the human suffers through trials and temptations. Dear Wormwood, teach your patient to fix his attention on the stream. Teach him to call it real life, and don't let him ask what he means by real. Remember, he is not, like you, a pure spirit. Never having been a human, oh, that abominable bandage of the enemies, you do not realize how enslaved they are to the pressure of the ordinary. I once had a patient, a sound atheist, who used to read in the British Museum. One day, as he sat reading, I saw a train of thought in his mind beginning to go wrong. The enemy, of course, was on his elbow in a moment. Before I knew where I was, I saw my twenty years of work beginning to totter. If I had lost my head and begun to attempt a defense by argument, I should have been undone. But I was not such a fool. I struck instantly at the part of the man which I had best under control and suggested that was it about time that he had some lunch. The enemy presumably made the counter-suggestion. You know how one can never quite overhear what he says to them. That is more important than lunch. At least I think that it might have been his line for when I was quiet, in fact too important to tackle at the beginning of the morning. The patient brightened up considerably, and by the end of the time I had added, much better come back after lunch and go into it with a fresh mind, he was already halfway out the door. Once he was in the street, the battle was won. I showed him a newsboy shouting the midday paper and the number 73 bus going past. And before he reached the bottom of the steps, I had got him into the unalterable conviction that whatever odd ideas might come into a man's head when he is shut up alone with his books, a healthy dose of real life, by which he meant the bus of the newsboy, was enough to show him that all this sort of thing just couldn't be true. He knew he had a narrow escape, and in later years was fond of talking about the in articulate sense of actuality which is our ultimate safeguard against the aberrations of mere logic he is now safe in our father's house you begin to see the point thanks to the process which we set at work in them centuries ago they find it all but impossible to believe in the unfamiliar while the familiar is before their eyes